Hey guys, I'm Katie Nolan with your top headlines for Monday, February 13th. So much happened this weekend. Whitney Houston died, and apparently the music industry is on its way out too. So we'll talk about all of that and more on your guys in Speed Round. As I'm sure you've heard by now, Whitney Houston died this weekend at the tragic age of 48. The cause of her death is still being investigated, but the leading theory is that she overdosed on Xanax and drowned in her bathtub. This will all be documented in her biopic, Waiting to Inhale. Also, don't get too attached to Liza Minnelli. Valentine's Day is tomorrow, and if you still don't have any plans, Pizza Hut may have just the deal for you. For just $10,010, you can have their engagement package, which includes a limo, your own personal fireworks show, a professional videographer, a ruby engagement ring, and their $10 dinner box. Or you can just save $10,000, propose over Pizza Hut, and still get the same emphatic no f***ing way. New details have emerged that John Wayne Gacy, the infamous clown serial killer, may have worked with a number of accomplices. Exhibit A, this exclusive photo. The Grammys took place last night and Adele was the big winner. <laughs> that wasn't a fat joke, she actually walked away with six awards. She treated that thing like it was an all-you-can-eat buffet. Boom, that's a fat joke. For a hundred bucks, you can get this new set of dumbbell cutlery that helps you work out while you eat. I don't doubt that it'll make you lose weight, but that's just because it makes it impossible to get food actually into your mouth. A man in London has been named the fattest in the world, clocking in at 812 pounds. In my opinion, finding enough edible food in England to get you that big is actually commendable. New York Nick Jeremy Lin's high school basketball coach is cashing in on his recent success with the websites linsanity.com and the jeremylinshow.com. Wait, the biggest star in the NBA right now is an Asian who was taught how to play basketball by a white guy? We can't even let black people have basketball anymore? Marjorie and James Landis, a Pennsylvania couple married for over 65 years, died last week just 88 minutes apart from one another. What a nice story for Valentine's Day to remind you that even if it's just for an hour, you're going to die alone. The first photos of Jay-Z and Beyonce's kid, Blue Ivy Carter, were released, and now there's no doubt in my mind that that's not her baby. Naming it Blue does not distract from the fact that that kid is not black. You're probably wondering why I'm so soft-spoken today, and the honest truth might make me sound a little crazy, but there's some weird stuff going on with our downstairs neighbors, and my roommate and I have decided that they may have just killed a prostitute, so we're trying to make as little noise as possible. Also, a real quick shout out to Justin Ruggles and his unit who are either being deployed or are already deployed. Guys, thank you for watching. I love you. Be safe over there, kick ass, and hurry back. Anyway, boys, that does it for your Monday speed round. I'll see you all tomorrow. You bring the chocolates, and I will bring the headlines that you need to know.